All right, guys, today we're gonna be cutting down a tree, as you can see behind me. Uh, but first, we need to kind of know a few things about the chainsaw. So for one, um, if you rent a saw, buy a saw, whatever you do, it should come with a sleeve. Um, there might be other terminology for it, but the sleeve basically protects the chain uh, and the bar, which is uh, this piece is right here. Um, the other things to notice on this, um, it has a safety toggle. So if it's forward, it'll usually lock the chain in place so it can't move, which you'll see here in a second. If you pull it back, you're able to engage the chain uh, with the trigger, which I'll also show you here pretty soon. Um, a few other things, obviously this is your pull start, pretty common. Um, you have your gas. Now on this particular one, which should be most the case uh, for any saw you use, is this is oil and gas mixture. So make note of that because it can hurt your motor. Um, and then we also have the chain lube or oil, uh, whatever the phrasing you want to use is, but it's right here on the bottom just to kind of keep everything lubricated during use. Um, that's the most common things. The most important also, start and stop switch, usually towards the top. Um, it'll be labeled on this one. It literally says stop is forward. So just notate that uh, in case you ever need to uh, turn it off immediately. So that's the basic usage. Now let's get it fired up. All right, first take your sleeve off, put your uh, safety to where it can't move the chain into the lock position. Uh, you don't want any accidental uh, fingers getting caught in that chain. Um, always pay attention on what you're doing. Obviously you wanna be in the start position um, now some chainsaws have a primer, so just know that if you need to get a little extra fuel when you're starting. This particular one does not, uh, but let's fire it up. So as you can see, when I hit the gas, because it's in a locked position, the chain will not move. Okay, hold it away from your body just so you always know the direction of the, of the blade. Now when it's in the unlocked position, you can see the chain move. If you're not ready to use the saw, put it in the lock position every time would be my suggestion. Um, other than that, if you need to kill the saw, know your off position. If you ever need to, just like that, you push the, the switch forward and it automatically kills the saw if you ever needed to. Um, definitely know that, definitely know how to turn it on and off if you ever need to, obviously turn it on and off in a, in a pinch. So, um, but that's basic operation and let's cut some trees. All right guys, so we're gonna get in here. We're gonna cut some of these limbs down. Um, we're gonna try to limb the tree up, maybe six feet, eight feet. Uh, you know, I can't see very well, so I'm gonna get access so I can make sure I'm safe when I'm cutting everything. So starting point is I'm gonna cut this limb out just so I can get in there and uh, we'll see what we're working with. So when you're cutting, always keep the chain away from you. Um, you know, chainsaws can snag, especially depending on the tree you're cutting. Snag bark or a limb and it can actually kick back towards you. So keep a really tight grip, just like using a knife in the kitchen, right? Keep it away from you, blade away. There's multiple different cutting techniques depending on how big the limbs you're cutting are. So maybe look that up just so you feel comfortable. There's relief cuts you can make so the limb doesn't actually pinch your saw blade and get it caught. But look that stuff up depending on what you're trying to do. You can see how it closes my cat, my gap. Now, if my saw was in there, it would have caught the chain. Okay, that's why we like to do a relief cut depending on how heavy the branch is, how big it is, and how much we think it's gonna, it's gonna catch us. That's not the professional terminology, but you get my point. So then if you do another cut like I just did, it falls straight to the ground, it won't pinch anything, and it won't sling all over the place. So we got all the area cleaned up. Um, as you can see, we had lots of limbs laying around, you know, unsafe. We don't want anybody to trip, especially while your chain's on. So we kind of got everything out of the way and now we can see exactly what we're dealing with. Um, you know, I can already tell now that we've cleared out, there's probably a few limbs in there that are too big for this saw. Uh, again, that's more of the bar length. You need to make sure your saw is long enough to cut through those, those big limbs. So we're gonna get in there, clear out a little more and start getting this thing limbed up. The closer you get to the stalk of the tree and the longer the limb, it will have a lot of pressure. So make sure when you're cutting that it doesn't have a lot of weight dragging that limb down because it will cause it to pop up and it can hurt you. All right, guys, we got a little bit of cleaning up to do. As you can see, I got into a little bit uh, better clothing for this, but a um, little cleaning up. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit today. 
Um, you know, just make sure, really follow the chainsaw operation guide. Know what you're doing. Very easy to cut a toe off very quickly if you're not sure. So, um, you know, check your saw, make sure it's sharpened. If you're renting it, really take care and have them guide you through on how to use it. But for the most part, when you're cutting trees, just a few things to consider, you know, consider how the limbs are, uh, make sure you're safe, clear the area, you know, pick up. Um, so you're walking very carefully when you're using the chainsaw. And, uh, and again, can't stress enough, just be safe. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe below and we'll hopefully see you very soon. Thank you.